This time on Building the X-Set, it's time to install the head gasket and the head. So now here we are. <clears throat> I have the head gasket installed. Before I actually set the head gasket um, on the block, I made sure to take some brake cleaning and clean the surface of the block as well as the mating surface on the head very thoroughly uh, to ensure there's no dirt or grime or oils or anything like that uh, present. So now the next step is basically um, taking the head and setting it on the block. I'm not using ARP studs uh, on this until I do my full build, basically because the ARP studs would make it a little easier in this scenario because um, they would be coming out of the engine block right now and uh, a little harder to get the head on, but it keeps the head gasket seated a little better. There are some dowel pins um, that help hold it in place, but you need to be pretty careful when you're setting the head on the block. Okay, so everything looks seated very nicely on there. Just going around checking to make sure that the head surface is flat. I did check the head surface and the block surface with my machinist straight edge before, um, well, a long time ago before I got into any of this, just to make sure they were both flat. Uh, the 2000s feeler gauge didn't fit underneath either of them, so I know it was a, a pretty flat surface here. So um, just to get this away a little bit, if that'll help. Um, basically just making sure that the head gasket here uh, didn't slide out in any places. I did feel the dowels actually connect in there and lock in so I know that it's seated correctly and just want to make sure that there's no impingements um, from the head and the block mounting points. So now I have all my head bolts installed. Uh, these went in exactly how they came out of the engine. It's very important once again because these front two actually um, I don't know if they're a little longer, but at least the way they sit in the head, they appear to be about a half inch longer than the other eight bolts. So now it's time to get the torque wrench ready, uh, get your factory workshop service manual out, and time to torque down the heads in the appropriate sequence. Three torque specs, uh, according to the 97 service manual, say 56 to 60 foot pounds of torque. The proper torquing sequence is starting in the middle. Um, on the intake side and basically going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very similar to how the camshaft torque sequence and uh, crankshaft torque sequences went. So time to get to it. Okay, just getting the last couple bolts here torqued down and also this you will finally be able to use a 12 point socket I've always been annoyed that my 3 8 sockets the shorter ones were the standard depth ones were 12 point but I'm glad I saved those because this is about the only time I've ever needed so anyways this is all torqued down now head is good to go mounted to the block and I'll give you a Another quick video here of uh, just kind of a side shot of the motor now that the head's mounted so you can see what it looks like all painted. Okay, so just to give you guys a quick video of the block with the head mounted and oil panel mounted. I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, part of me wishes I would have um, actually just painted the block black. <laughs> Um, I struggled with that decision for a while, and I think, you know, I probably should have just gone ahead and done that. So, oh well. Um, I think it'll look kind of cool, all the silver in the engine bay there. Um, and then the the head gasket here, or the valve cover here, I have that all wire-wheeled and ready. That's going to be powder-coated in ultramarine blue, um, basically the same blue as the differential and brake calipers there. Um, and then the intake manifolds. Uh, over here, that's powder coated the, the King Sport Gray, the frame color. So, um, should look pretty cool. But, uh, anyways, next time, I think, let's see here, I think next video is water pump. 
um, idler pulleys, cam sprockets, um, uh, crank sprocket, and timing belt. So getting there, starting to look more like an engine. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got any comments, uh, please, please uh, leave them down below. If you like my stuff, please subscribe or like the video. I appreciate it. Till next time, see you later.